Hey guys, here's step five of building your own website. There's nothing worse than an empty website, and at this moment, you've got two of them. In this step, you'll create an about page, which tells visitors something about the person running the site. So the first thing you want to do is log into your website. WordPress has two types of content, pages and posts. Pages tend to be static content, those things that don't change very often. Posts behave like any social media feed. They have a date and time stamp, and they are viewed in reverse chronological order. So go ahead and start by clicking on Pages. On the Pages page, you will have any number of different pages, probably a privacy policy and a sample page, and depending on the theme you've activated, there might be some other ones added in. You can go ahead and delete all of the pages that are already here. Then click the Add New button to start drafting your About page. This is the editing menu where you can write content for your site. I find it easier to work with if you turn off the full screen mode. And then you can see the rest of your WordPress dashboard that's still here. Go ahead and get started by titling your page. In this case, it should be called About. And then write a brief paragraph or two about yourself that includes at least the following information what you're studying in school, and what your educational and career goals are. I'll speed this up. As you're writing, if you need to format the text, you can simply highlight it and then use these controls to add bold, italics, and so on. You can hover over them to see the keyboard shortcuts. If you want to add a link, that's this icon, or you can hit Control or Command K, and then just type the link and hit Enter. WordPress organizes its content by what they call blocks. If I hit Enter at the end of this line, it will allow me to continue typing or to add a new block, which I do by clicking on this plus button. You can see there are any number of different types of blocks, running from quotes to lists to images. In addition to the brief paragraph or two about yourself, I would like you to add an image to your About page. To do this, simply click on the image and then choose to upload it, probably from your computer. Pick an image that you'd like to use. And there it is. Now, I am requiring you to put an image on your About page, but it absolutely does not need to be a picture of yourself. The web is a visual medium, so we should use it in a visual way in addition to the text. But again, it doesn't need to be a picture of you. Once your page is done and looks like you want, click Publish. You'll be asked if you're sure, and go ahead. And now you can see the page has been published. If I click this View Page button, I can make sure the page looks exactly as I want it. Now that you've done that for your website, create an about page on your class website. You can use the exact same content, copy and paste, and you're good to go. And that's it. Step five is done. You have created an about page for your sites.